Hello students, consider an example set of all set of all x element of R such that x less than or equal to 0 x less than or equal to 0 we call this as set S S equal to set of all x element of R such that x less than or equal to 0 here we have many upper bounds yesterday we have proved the result if a set has one upper bound then it has infinitely many upper bound here 0 is an upper bound then we can find infinitely many upper bounds by just adding undo each of the bounds obtained upper bounds 0 is an upper bound 1 Using the yesterday's result, adding 1, then we get 1, then adding 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, etc. are all upper bounds. Other than that, we have several other upper bounds. Any number greater than 0 is an upper bound. 0 0.5, 2.3, 7.8, etc. are all upper bounds for the same set S. These are all upper bounds. There are in infinitely many upper bounds. Now we are going to select an upper bound which is having some peculiarity from the collection of upper bounds. Here we have the real line 0. Our set S is the collection of all points in the real line which is less than or equal to 0. That means less than or equal to 0. That means points up to here. Here are the points. Set S. Here points. Minus infinity to 0. These are members of the set S. Now, the upper bounds of the set are 0 is an upper bound. It is a point of the set 2. Then all the points lying after x equal to 0 in the real line. These are all upper bounds. Then the first upper bound of the set. That means there exists a least number among the all upper bounds. Here it is this number. Aditya upper bound is the upper bounds, then least of the upper bounds. This is the least upper bound. Least upper bound. And it is called the supremum. Sometimes we may call it as least upper bound itself. And the standard name is supremum least upper bound is called the supremum that is our today's concept supremum and similarly for sets having lower bonds we can find the infimum this similar concept is derived and it is called the infimum supremum and infimum we are discussing about supremum and infimum of a set Supremum exists for a set having upper bounds and infimum exists for a set having lower bounds. This is a concept and let us see how can we define the supremum. Definition of supremum. Suppose that S is a set which is bounded above. Bounded above is upper bound. Define G. That is the first condition. S should be a set which is bounded above then a number u may be an element of s may not be an element of s here in this case set of all x element of r such that x less than or equal to 0 the least upper bound obtained is 0 and 0 is a member of s if we instead if we consider set of all x element of r such that x is strictly less than 0 strictly less than 0 then also 0, then also 0 is the least upper bound, but 0 is not a mem member of S. Therefore, we can put the condition that U is a real number only. Set element down and Then U element of R is the least upper bound, LUB and then a chirikir or supremum. Supremum can be written as SUP. And standard notation. U is the least upper bound or supremum of the set S. If, if means, it is a definition, if and only if condition. 
S should be bounded above. Supremum is defined for only sets which are bounded above. First condition is that upper bound should be a bound. Ah, uh, sorry, least upper bound or supremum should be a should be an upper bound. If it is an upper bound, it is greater than any of the members of S. S less than or equal to U should be first of all. It should be an upper bound. S less than or equal to U for all S element of S. Members of capital S are denoted by small s. Yesterday I have mentioned small x in the description of the video. And in the notes, elements of capital S are denoted by small s. Not, nothing to worry about it. It is only about symbols. Members of S <coughs> can be denoted by some variable notations. It can be X or S. The notation in your text is small s. So, hereafter I am writing small s for elements of capital S. S less than or equal to U for all S element of capital S. It can be uh, expressed in descriptive version. Then S is a S is an upper bound of S. First of all, S should be an upper bound of S. condition. It should be the least. Suprema means least upper bound. It should be the least among the upper bounds. Upper bounds where the upper bound V Let V be any other upper bound of the set S. Then U is the least. Therefore, the relation between U and V. U should be the least upper bound. We are defining the least upper bound. U less than or equal to V for all upper bounds. For all upper bounds. Where is the upper bound? Where is the upper bound? Where is the upper bound? Bounded above. Therefore, one upper bound means infinitely many upper bounds. For all upper bounds, V of S. He is written there. Where is the upper bound? 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 Where is the this is you. In our example, this is you. Our real line is very important. You less than or equal to V for all upper bounds of S. For, for any other upper bound V of S. Similarly, we can define the infimum. This is the definition of supremum. Supremum is the least upper bound. And infimum is the... Then least upper bound vole infimum means it is defined for a set which is bounded below bounded below the lower bounds are very unique in the upper bounds le a tone zero the lower bounds le a tone well is like infimum will be the greatest lower bound greatest lower bound least upper bound vole greatest lower bound Least upper bound. Supremum is the least among the upper bonds. In the position on the alloy upper bonds. It is set on the right side of the upper bonds. Now, if you have a set is bounded below, for example, consider the set, set of all x element of R such that x greater than or equal to 0. In the real line, 0, x greater than or equal to 0, s is from greater than or equal to 0, from 0 to infinity, this is s, then the lower bounds, these are the lower bounds, then we find the, which is near to the set, here, least upper bound will be near to the set, here greatest lower bound will be near to the set, that is the peculiarity of the definition. If you want to define the set, that is the greatest lower bound. Greatest lower bound or infimum. Or infimum. This is infimum. Therefore, we can define infimum. What will be the definition? First of all, S should be bounded below. For bounded below sets only, we can define infimum. Then, the number U and the lower bounds are W of U. W element of R is the greatest lower bound or infimum, shortly INF, of S. If and only if it satisfies two conditions. What will be the first condition? First of all, it should be a 
lower bound of s. If it is a lower bound of s, then equality s less than or equal to u is reversed for w. That means w less than or equal to w less than or equal to s for all s element of s. That will be the first condition. Or it can be put in the form s greater than or equal to w. Just to reverse e1 alloy kyanagi s less than or equal to a s greater than or equal to u nalithanda. Lower bound in the W is greater than or equal to W. English dollar formula is okay. The side on the real of the low chin is the lower bound ambum S in a more real arc. W upper bound ambum S is a very arc. The low chin equality character is the MD. S is a lower bound and the other first condition. Then it should be the greatest lower bound. If we consider any other lower bound, say. T, T, any other lower bound, then greatest is W, therefore W greater than or equal to T, for all, for all lower bonds T, for all T lower bonds, where are the lower bonds are the same, that is the same, that is the same, that is the greatest lower bond, definition is in the words, least upper bond, it should be an upper bond, least among the upper bonds. Greatest lower bond, it should be a lower bond and it should be greatest among the lower bonds. These are the definitions for supremum and the infimum. Very important while studying real analysis. And we are going to see some examples for supremum and the infimum. Yesterday we have some sets S1, S2, S3, and S4. You can find the Supremum and infimum for all the sets. S1, S1 was the set. In yesterday's notation, S1 is equal to set of all. X element of R such that X greater than or equal to 0. This was S1. Then what will be its upper bound and lower bound? Lower, um, sorry, in supremum and infimum. Whether the set has an infimum, it is bounded from below and it has infimum, infimum equal to 0 and infimum element of S. And supremum, it is not bounded above and no supremum, no supremum. Similarly, you can find the infimum and supremum. If the set is bounded from below and bounded from above, that is the set is bounded, then it has both supremum and infimum. Bounded sets are named supremo, infimo, and down. In the lepern, there is a bounded set under. In a cell case, the supremo and infimo set le members are cell for set le members are illa in the ram. Upon the alice set in the English supremo, infimo, candudica, and the lana in the English set are in the work as assignment data. Add in S1, S2, S3, S4 in yesterday's class. Find the infimum and supremo. Thank you.